to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back peeps and creeps, fam and crew Today we're looking at Time Bandits 1981, the year I was born PG, one hour and 50 minutes uh, Written by Michael Palin and Terry Gilliam uh, Directed by Terry Gilliam Stars Sean Connery, Shelley Duvall, and John Cleese, Michael Palin. Uh, sort of like a lot of the same crew from Monty Python, of course, had their hand in making this film. This is a handmade films, widescreen collector's edition presentation. White clamshell package released from Anchor Bay, 1999. Uh, this is one that I, I got from Half Price Books, I believe. I remember seeing it on the store shelves at Best Buy way back in the day and always wanted to buy it because I was a, sort of a fan of Terry Gilliam, but I just, I was. It was always between you know buying this and then buying like Halloween Five or buying Deep Red or buying uh, Phenomena. So I always had to like choose which one I was gonna get because they were like you know twenty, twenty twenty five bucks or something on the store shelves back in the day. The IMDb synopsis: A young boy accidentally joins a band of time traveling dwarves as they jump from era to era looking for treasure to steal. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. I remember seeing it probably in the late nineties, early two thousands. Probably right around the time this this VHS was released, I remember renting it and watching it. It's not one I've ever returned to too often. Uh, it's the second Sean Connery movie I've done videos for today, having done Shalico earlier. Uh, Shelley Duvall, of course, John Cleese, Catherine Hellmond from Lady in White, Ian Holm, the original Bilbo, uh, Peter Vaughn, David Warner, two guys from Straw Dogs, Kenny Baker, whom I've met. And it wasn't literally till about 15 seconds before I started this video that I looked up Peter Vaughn who's in this movie as Winston the Ogre because his IMDb profile picture is him as Master Aemon from uh, uh, Game of Thrones. I forgot that's the dude from Straw Dogs. He was like sort of like the main baddie, like the dad of the main baddie in Straw Dogs. I'd never put that together when I'd, when I'd see him as Master Aemon on, uh, on uh, Game of Thrones. But yeah, you got two dudes from Straw Dogs in this movie, so that's can't, can't go wrong with that. And David Warner having just passed this year, or within the past year. So this one being Anchor Bay Clamshell does have images and liner notes on the inside. I don't know why, but I always kind of think of the movie Jabberwocky and Time Bandits and Baron Munchausen all kind of as the same movie. I don't know why. I just when I think of one, I always think of the other. Uh, produced by George Harrison, which is interesting. Uh, Kitty Baker, David Rappaport, as I said, Michael Edmonds, Michael Dickinson, T Tiny Ross. A uh, great cast of, cast of people. A young Shelley Duvall right off of... Uh, she probably made this right after The Shining, so it's probably you know, quite a, a shot going from Kubrick to working with Terry Gilliam. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is this movie worth revisiting? Like I said, it's been a while. If I've seen it, it's been forever. I, I have seen it, but it's been forever. Um... It's finally nice to have this white clamshell, though. Even though I bought this about a year ago, I'm just not getting around to doing a video on it. Um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me your stories. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.